Right now we are in stock trading mode here at the top, but when you're in this screen, it might look a little bit different. If you're doing this for the first time, it's going to look like this. Um, but if you are on that screen, I was just at, let's go back here. If you're on stock trading mode, like we just were, it's going to look like this. And the way to switch that from stock trading mode back to either searching for a symbol or to the options trading mode is to go to the magnifying glass here in the top left to search for a new symbol or to click on stock here in the top right or whatever tab is there in the top right to switch your mode. So in this case, if we tap the magnifying glass I was just pointing out on the left, we can search for a new symbol. So in this case, sorry, I keep locking my phone by accident. But uh, in this case, if we wanted to place an options trade or an option spread on TSM, all we would need to do is type in TSM at the top here. We're going to see Taiwan Semiconductors. That's the symbol we want to place a trade on. Uh, we have a few buttons here. We can, again, check out that symbol overview section. We could set an alert. We could add this symbol to one of our watch lists if we wanted to as well. But uh, if we wanted to place a trade, just tap in the center here or on the name of the symbol. So tap on that section right there. And then you're going to see, again, those, those options that we saw in the overview, the option, stock, and strategy. When you're placing options trades, there's two sections you want to play, keep track of is options and strategies here on the right. As a brand new user, someone new to options trading, the strategy section here is very nice. I'll show you guys how to set up a trade with this first. So if we wanted to set up a trade based on a specific strategy, we could tap on strategy. And now we can see all of the different kind of default strategies on the platform here. We could buy stock. Uh, we could set up a vertical spread. You kind of see these profit or loss scenarios there or the profit and loss graph for each strategy. Uh, in this case, maybe we want to place a vertical call spread. We could go here, tap on vertical, and now we see a couple more options here. These two on the left, long and call, these are actually buttons. If you tap on them, it's going to toggle between short and long and then call and put. So there's four different combinations of vertical spreads we could place. In this case, we want to do a long call spread, or maybe if we want to do short call spread, we would just tap on long toggle it back to short. Now we're doing a short call spread. Tap on one more time to go back to long call. And then once you're ready to set up the trade, click on the blue arrow there on the right. And now this is going to take you to the trade tab. It might default to you in the curve analysis mode here for setting up the trade. That's denoted by this little curve here at the top. So this is curve mode. If you tap on that icon, that little curve icon, this arrow is pointing to right up here, that's actually going to toggle it back to our traditional table mode as well. So if we go back to table mode here, uh, we're going to see that we are trading, what is this, the 12th expiration rent. Let me go back here. Sorry, I need to list all there. show you guys how I did that in a second. But uh, essentially, when you click on that button in the top right, you're going to toggle between curve mode here or table mode as well, showing you this position in the options chain. So to start here, we'll be working out in the table mode, but I'll show curve in just a little bit. But so by default, we had our long call spread. It's just going to place it at the strikes right at the money. Um, it's still out of the money, but you can do a couple different things to edit this order. Either you can, and this is the easiest way, this is how I do it. Maybe if we wanted to make this a $4 wide vertical spread and sell the 110 leg instead of the 107. So if we wanted to sell the 110 instead of the 107, we could drag our short leg to 110. So then in this order, we would be selling the 110 strike and then buying the 106 strike for our long spread. And then at the bottom of our window here as well, we can see buy to open for our one January 12th, 106 strike call. So you can see a breakdown on the trade, both sides, buy to open is BTO, sell to open is STO since we're opening this position. If you're closing a trade, you're gonna see either BTC or STC listed here as well. And then I see, uh, question just came up about uh, another figure here, this 48 here at the top, that is indicating the IV rank. 
for this symbol. So for TSM right now, the IVR should be at around 48%. And then while you're looking at the top here as well, just a couple other figures, this is going to be the change in price for the symbol for the day. So TSM uh, has gone up uh, 42 cents today so far. And then this is the last price. So right now it's trading about 105 and seven cents. Hope that helps. So we selected the legs that we want to trade here. And then we also have some similar stuff to how we had our stock trade. We're going to have the market for this trade. So we see, again, the bid and ask side of this of, hey, where are we likely to get a fill on this? Mid price is trading at 119 right now. So if we place it at the mid price, uh, you know, we've got a decent chance of getting a fill. But uh, if we were to scoot it up a little bit closer to this nap price here, maybe at 120, 119, uh, we're a little more likely to get filled on this trade. So, uh, and just as a preface, these are all live trades in a real account right now. So maybe we want to tick up our trade price a couple cents. We could go down here and tap on the arrows to increase it to 120 or decrease it back to 118. And then also if you tap on the price as well, it's going to open up a keyboard. So, uh, you know, if you need to change the price quite a bit, you don't want to have to tap a hundred times. So you can type in the price directly. Maybe we want to do 1.22. You could type that in, press save. And now it's updated to 1.22. Other than the price there, we also have a couple other settings here. We have the ability to move around the strike prices by tapping the spread width as well. So if we uh, tap the strike down button, we're shifting, um, actually we're shifting the strikes up based on our orientation here, but we can move the strikes up or down for our trade. We can also maybe shrink it together make it a little tighter of a spread, widen out that spread. Um, that's just kind of like quick action buttons for setting up your option spreads there. And then also we have a quantity button here on the left. So maybe if you want to do two spreads, you could set that up there. So um, the question usually comes up like, hey, I like to place ratio spreads. How could I do that? The easiest way to do that is by um, what I just did is, is I tapped on this right here. So you could either tap on the leg that you want to buy two for. So if we wanted to set up a ratio here and buy two calls and sell, um, sell one, we could tap on here or we could tap on our buy side down here and you see how it's white highlighted. Once you've done that and you go to the quantity section here, and then tap the up or down arrow. So in this case, we tap up. Now you'll see that this increased to two by itself. So the big thing to distinguish here is that if I have both legs selected and then I press quantity, um, right now it's already a two to one. So if I press quantity, now it's a four to two. So it's moving an even step, but um, let's see, unselect that leg, crank it down. But uh, if we have no leg selected, it considers kind of both of those selected again. So if we were to push up the quantity, now it's a two to two or two vertical spreads there. So that's how you can mess around with the quantity. Maybe you're looking to set up a butterfly spread, but uh, we also have the strategy selector tool that makes it a lot easier for placing either a ratio or a butterfly spread as well. Um, just to show you real quick, if we were to go to the top here and go select we can see this strategy selector one more time and we see ratio spread here and we also see butterfly. So maybe we want to place a butterfly. We could tap on butterfly and click on go. And now you see it's going to set us up a trade by default as a one, two to one. So especially if your place of butterflies are, are uneven um, spreads, definitely uh, use the strategy selector. It'll save you a lot of time or, or clicks in terms of messing around with the quantity. So once we have our trade going, um, and I'll pull up that vertical spread one more time. So if we wanted to clear a trade, we can click on this trash can icon right here, go clear order. But if we wanted to pull up that call spread one more time, we could also do it a slightly different way, which uh, is essentially what happens when you just click on options. So I'm um, showing you where we were at before under the symbol search. We tapped on TSM and then we had all these options here. We clicked on strategy, we did stock earlier, but now if we go to option here, this is where you're gonna be manually clicking on 
strikes in the trade tab. So you'll see all the different expirations here. See the expiration dates, if it's weekly or not, left side's calls, right side's puts. And then we see some uh, applicable figures, IVX and expected move for these symbols too. But then in the middle as well, this is kind of, especially for most options traders, when you're setting up your trade, you're looking for specific days until expiration. Uh, this is kind of the number you want to look at and being like, oh, maybe I want to set up a trade right around uh, 45, 50 days until expiration. And I can see, okay, yeah, 50D here. I want to trade the February 16th expiration here. So I could tap on that 216 row and it's going to expand and show me all the strikes available to trade. If you don't see all these expirations in your trade tab, or uh, potentially you don't see all the strikes listed for a specific symbol, check out this settings gear icon in the top right. If you tap on that, you're gonna see our trade tab settings where you can actually edit the columns or the some of the data that's shown in the trade tab here, but you can also edit the expiration type listed, the numbers of strikes uh, listed, and then also uh, the overlay. So if I were to change this expiration type to regular and strikes to six, and then go back, you're going to see now that I'm only seeing regular expirations or monthly expirations for TSM, and there's six strikes listed. Now, if I go back to those settings, click on that settings gear icon in the top right, and then editing these two tops. So numbers of strikes shown, expiration type. If I go numbers of strikes shown, all strikes, and then also expiration type all, now I'm going to see all the available strikes and all of the different expirations you can trade for all of these symbols. So it's applicable to all symbols when you mess around with these symbols or these settings, sorry. Uh, so if we were to pull up Apple, these settings would apply as well. But now we can see all the expirations again, um, just to show you the denotion. Got our weekly, we got our regular expirations, and now we see a bunch more strikes here. We see all the way down to the 45, 50, 55 strike that we can potentially trade on this symbol. Scroll down a little bit. Um, we can then look to set up our trade manually. So this is how I end up setting up trades um, almost exclusively on all the platforms and the mobile platform. When you're looking to set up this call spread, all you got to do is check out the bid and ask price on either side. So on the left side, we got our calls. On the right side, we got our puts. So if I want to trade calls, you're going to be gravitating in this side of our table. If you're trading puts, you're on this side of the table. And then once you've found the strike, so maybe you're saying, yeah, I want to buy a trade that we had earlier. I want to buy the 110. Um, maybe sell the 125 and set up a spread like that. If you want to set up that spread without using the strategy selector tool, all you got to do is just tap on the bid or ask price. So bid is for selling, ask is for buying. So if we wanted to buy the 110 strike call, we're on the call side, we find the ask price for buying this option for the 110 strike on that row. And then you tap on that 2.69. And now you see we are buying that strike. We see the green highlight for buying one option there. And then on the flip side, if we wanted to sell the 120, I'm going to look at the bid price here, 0 0.69, tap my finger on that. And now I am selling that strike. So that's how you can set up trades quite quickly, just by tapping on specific strikes. If you're kind of scanning through the columns before you end up trading and don't want to have to drag it around. Uh, and it's just like before, you can drag these, these strikes around, set up trades. And what's kind of nice here as well that you might have not noticed uh, when I mentioned the trade earlier is that you actually have some slight highlights here. You see these green and red highlights in this middle bar. It's actually showing you the profit or loss zone at expiration for this trade. So in this case, the break evens right around um, 112.50. It's not super precise there, but you can only see, you know, where that break even point might sit, um, in terms of the strike prices here. But as we adjust our trade, you know, move around these strikes here, you can see 
that red zone and that break even point moving around in real time. So it's a nice little way to check out your profit or loss zones as you're setting up a trade there. And then on the right side as well, I mentioned for each expiration, you're going to see the implied volatility for the expiration, also the expected move, which is kind of the one standard deviation move for this underlying based on uh, the options pricing for the next 50 days. So, you know, maybe you want to set up your call spread to um, profit as long as it, you know, maybe we get a little closer and see our break evens right around the top side of the expected move. Um, so we kind of wanted to move outside the expected move in this case for this long call spread, I want the price to increase. So once you're ready to send off the order, you know, you've messed around maybe with the time and force too, or uh, you can also place bracket orders and option spreads. So as I'm scrolling my finger here at the bottom of our screen, I'm tapping my finger and scrolling left and right, and it's moving these around. You can see, A, I can place a bracket order on this. I can set my time and force for this order as well, um, or I could just ship it off. And if you want to get a, a bigger view of this as well, you can click on this arrow here in the top right, and that is going to take us into this larger order type window, kind of like our stock order window there um, in terms of taking up a little more real estate. And now you can see, hey, you know, what is my max profit or loss for this trade? What are my creeks? um for this position so i think barry just said um delta right there or theta as well um and those are columns you can add to the positions tab as well i can show a little bit later but uh you're also going to see some other stuff like the buying power effect how much buying power takes up for this trade in this case 130 because uh we have an order to buy at dollar 30 times 100 equals 130. So we're looking good. We're like, hey, I like it. Uh, I want to place a trade on this. Uh, let's go ahead and ship it off. So we can maybe we'll go up the price a couple notches, click on review and send, and we can see a breakdown of our trade. Make sure everything checks out. Check out the profit or loss, um, commissions and fees, order type price. And then uh, if we, you know, again, if we wanted to edit our order or clear it out, just like our stock order, same exact buttons. Um, you know, we could go tap on edit here, just for example purposes, you go back to edit, tap, change the price one more time, maybe to 1.32, and then we can go review and send, updates our order, and then we could go ahead and ship it off by tapping on submit. So sorry if the Tasty Trade logo keeps logging or popping up on the screen, um, my just got a brand new phone here. So I keep locking the, the screen by accident, having to relaunch the platform. So it's my bad. Uh, it probably should not happen on your guys' side, but uh, we can click on submit. And now our order is placed. We placed it a little higher up on the range. So uh, we ended up getting filled right away and uh, we're still in the trade tab here. But uh, if we wanted to see that position that we just opened, we'll go back to our positions tab again, like we did for the stock trade. And now we can see our trade on TSM.